What's up, Heat Nation? I decided to take my EDC game up a notch with not one, but two EDC knives. They both have a purpose, so let's talk about it. All right, before we get down to business, if you're looking to purchase any beautiful holsters or flashlights, my affiliate links will be pinned in the comment section. Use my links, it'll definitely help the channel out. I will greatly appreciate it. I also have a discount code as well for the Olight store, 10% off your order. Use my code and my link, I will greatly appreciate it. And also I drop new videos every week, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss this heat, cause I got plenty more heat coming. As you've seen from the title, we're talking about my new EDC knives. I have two of them. Each one has a separate purpose. One is mainly gonna be for work and a truck knife, you know, and the other is gonna be for all my off days, whenever I just wanna carry something on me. Something a little slightly smaller and more discreet. We're gonna jump on the table and take a look at them. Stick with me, cause you don't wanna miss this heat. Some beautiful knives. So without further ado, let's jump on the table and get to this Heat Life knife review. Okay, Heat Nation. The first knife we're gonna take a look at is my Kershaw work knife. The reason I got this knife was because I actually had a knife similar to it recently, but I was on a job and I had a helper out there with me. I let him use it a few times and he usually, he kept giving it back to me. But one time we were like out in the field and I let him hold on to it because he needed, he needed it again and he actually forgot to give it back to me that last time and I just wasn't really worried about it because it was just a knife that I got for free from a truck stop. I actually put it on the company account years ago, <laughs> you know, but it was, a, it was a pretty good knife though. Pretty much the same exact knife, but this one is a lot better quality. Without further ado, let's open the box and take a look at it. For my work knife, I went with the Kershaw Barricade Assisted Opening Knife. The knife that I lost was actually orange too, but it was a different type of texture. It actually wasn't textured at all. It was just a shiny, smooth orange coating on the grip. It wasn't textured like this one. This one is actually a GFN textured handle. It has a nice texture to allow you to have a nice strong grip on it. It really feels good in hand. This one also has a nice stainless steel clip for pocket carrying for EDC, which is pretty much exactly what I'm gonna use it for out there in the field. And just like my last one, my last one had a built-in glass breaker and it also has a built-in seatbelt cutter, just like my last one. So I've really seen value in that knife because it would be something that I could use for emergencies, say if I get in a car accident or something, you know. And in the past, I didn't really care much about that, but once I actually had a knife that offers these features, I would think, man, this is actually really good to have because you, you never know when you're gonna need something like this, so. I really wanted to replace that knife and I wanted something that had those same exact features because I just feel like it's very important to have a tool that can possibly save your life or save someone else's if you need to. And it also has the thumb stud if you want to flick it open with your thumb or if you just want to use the flipper to open it, you can just take your index and wow, it opens really easy just like that. And the blade is coated with the black oxide finish. Originally, I didn't have a preference whether I would get the stainless look on the blade or the black coated finish, but I feel like the benefit of the black coated finish is, you know, if you ever got to pull it out and use it, it's kind of not too shiny and obvious. It won't draw much attention, so you can kind of use it more discreetly. So I kind of like that about the black finish. But again, I would take either one, but that is a pro of having the black coated finish on your knife, on your blade. I like it. The overall length of the blade, fully extended, is 8.5 inches, so it's a little on the bigger side. The blade length is 3.5 inches, and the overall weight is 4.5 ounces. So I feel like overall this is a good EDC knife, and especially for what I'm gonna use it for at work. I feel like I made a great choice. Let's get this one out the way and move on to my other knife that I chose. The next knife that I did choose is the Civivi. And the reason I went with a separate knife, something like this, is just for my days whenever I'm not working. You know, I just want to carry a 
a nice knife, something that's a little bit smaller, you know, something that looks a little bit more stylish, a little bit more of my style. You know, nothing too flashy, but I guess what you can call maybe a gentleman's knife. <laughs> I guess that's what they call it these days, but yeah. Let's open it up and check it out. Of course, it comes in a little black case like so, like all Civivi knives. <clears throat> a little rag, I guess, to clean your knife. A nice touch. All right, let's get to the knife. I went with the Civivi Elementum liner lock knife with a marble carbon fiber finish. I think it's a very nice knife. I really like it. Nice marble carbon finish on the grip. Nice little lanyard hole. If you're into that kind of thing, they knock yourself out. And I really like how the C isn't as shiny as some others, it's blacked out. I don't mind the shiny C. It, it looks fine to me, but honestly, I do prefer the blacked out C. I just think it looks a little more classy. And of course, it has the stainless steel clip for the deep pocket carry. Nice, strong stainless steel clip. It doesn't have a thumb stud, but it does have a flipper, which is very smooth and very easy to open. I really like that. And as you can see, it does have the black stone washed D2 steel blade. Like I say, it's just something that's, it's not too obvious if you ever have to pull it out and use it. You can use it and be more discreet. It doesn't draw too much attention. And it is nice and sharp, fresh out the box. The length is 6.99 inches. The blade length is 2.96 inches. The weight of the knife is 2.71 ounces. Now let's compare the size difference between the two knives that I have. For the Kershaw Barricade knife is 8.5 inches. Civivi, 6.99 inches. You can see the difference. Work knife, more of an everyday pocket carry EDC knife. Whenever I'm not working and I'm just, I'm dressed kind of fly, you know? Something a little more smaller and more discreet. Makes sense, right? 6.99 inches. 8.5 inches so you see the size difference overall I'm very happy with my two knives so far they both seem like great quality and they don't come at a price that's too expensive it they definitely do not break the bank but that's gonna be it for this heat life knife review let's jump back in front of the camera and end the video off I feel like these are both great options for EDC choices Kershaw Barricade and the very stylish Civivi Elementum carbon fiber Feel like I made a great choice. If you're thinking about purchasing any EDC knives, I can't really recommend those two. All I can say is I love them. But hey, there's so many options out there. I'm sure you'll be able to find one just as good or even better. Yeah, I definitely recommend carrying an EDC knife because ever since I've been carrying a knife, I actually wonder how did I go without carrying one all these years because since I've been carrying one, I actually need to use it a lot. It seems vital to have it on my side every day now. So if you haven't been carrying a knife already, I highly recommend you start. If you liked anything about this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Helps with the algorithm, helps the channel grow. And also I drop new videos every week. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss this heat because I got plenty more heat coming. Heat Nation, thank you for tuning in once again. I will definitely see you soon because I got something up my sleeve. Stay tuned. But that's going to be it for this video. Heat Nation, until next time, we're going to holler.